What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna talk about my Sam HD 200. I picked this scooter up for a crazy good deal. It was not running at the time when I got it. It did not have a carburetor at all. And I did not know what was wrong with it. I got it like a as is deal at a scooter shop. This scooter was abandoned by its customer for about, the customer that brought it, they left it there for about uh, six years, the guy told me. And he was closing up shop and going out of business and as is price, I got it for 150. Got a bill of sale with it. Uh, when I got it and did not have a carburetor, the guy, the owner, gave me a big box of carburetors, like probably about 60 carburetors for scooters. And told me uh, good luck, really. So I just went through it and put like three of them together and made one good carburetor. So she runs pretty good. When I got her, she had about 2,000 miles on her. I put about 1,400. And that's about it. Scooter is liquid cool. I believe the specs online say it's a 170 cc, even though it's a HT, HD 200. Just changed the oil and the gear oil on it. And what I think about the scooter, I think it's fucking fantastic. Sorry about that, excuse my language. That's how I feel about it. Scooter is actually pretty decent on gas. It's pretty quick. It will do about 70 miles an hour compared to all these, you know, Chinese GR6 150s. And this thing flies past them all day. It's pretty torquey. Got good brakes. It stops pretty quick too. One thing I was concerned about it is that it is liquid cool. I have heard the fan come on. That's, for a moment, I start to wonder if it even worked because when I'm riding, it stays at, like right at the first bar, cold. And I'd be driving some distance and just stay right there. So I just let it sit and run one day till the temperature got up to like the, the third bar. And then the fan kicked on. I'm like, all right, at least it works. But I was wondering about that. Uh, right there is where you reset it after you do an oil change. Got like a little green light, a little green dot, but you know, it was good. I also have a little, little clock right there. That's for my Bluetooth speaker, I like to jam. Another thing I like about it is how you feel it. You don't gotta pop the seat, just take out a gas cap, put your gas in it. Well, let me let y'all hear how I sing. The lights are bright on it. People definitely see you at night. You know, I guess after a couple of miles, your, your seat will probably make a sound like mine. Yeah. Ooh, that's it, really. MHD 200. What I think about it, it's pretty damn straight. It's a pretty good scooter. I work on scooters. I fix them and just resell them. And I had a lot of scooters. And most, out of most scooters I had, I kind of enjoyed this one. I had a Bergman uh, 400 Type S. That scooter was pretty quick. It was fun, but it felt heavy as hell. I was like, boy, that was a heavy ass scooter. And this one's just, it's just right around the city and stuff like that got the power to pull out riding traffic it's good probably hopping on the highway if you want to but i haven't i don't really do all that because nobody does the speed limit on the highway you're on the highway say say 60 65 everybody doing about 80 
90 or 100, so I wouldn't recommend this on the highway. Not sure you ran over. You can keep up with people, but you'll be pushing the scooter the whole time. Yeah. If you want to know more about it, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the scooter. How was your experience with it? And if you want to know more about it, or see a video about it, just let me know. All right, y'all take it easy. Peace.